In this video, I want to introduce gradient descent optimization in R, and I want to solve a nonlinear optimization variable using gradient descent um, by applying the NLOPTR package in R. The problem that I want to solve is stated here. It's a minimization problem with a nonlinear objective function. It has two optimization variables from the continuous space, both um, optimization variables do uh, not have a lower bound and also um, they do not have an upper bound and I have an inequality constraint that, that constrains my solution space. Now before I solve this problem with uh, the NLOPTR package in R, I want to quickly um, go over a Wikipedia article that explains uh, gradient descent optimization. You can find this article on Wikipedia um, if you enter gradient descent. The important section is down here um, that basically explains the, the usual way uh, gradient descent optimization is implemented in solvers. And you can think about it um, as depicted here in the picture that you start at some randomly or strategically chosen start point and starting from that start point you will start moving into the direction of steepest descent. In mathematical terms the the steepest descent or the direction of steepest descent is the gradient of the of the function that you seek to optimize. And then you will move into that direction for a defined step size and after you did uh, after you've done so you will reassess um, the direction of steepest descent so you will recalculate the gradient and then you will move into that direction for a defined step size and so on. So this is an iterative approach um, the algorithm stops once an optimum has been found. And in, in algorithms like, like these, you have to um, provide some kind of criteria that allows you to assess whether an optimum has to be found. And this is done by assessing the, the rate of improvement. So once your rate of improvement goes below some threshold value, um, the algorithm considers the solution to be optimal and and will um, end the optimization run. Another criteria can be the maximum number of iterations that are allowed. So if your solver keeps on iterating through um, through solution, so it keeps on moving into the direction of the steepest descent, um, and it won't find an optimum within a certain amount of steps, then the algorithm might um, break out of your optimization loop. And, and and return um, the value that it found, um, but also providing you with the information that this is probably not the optimal value since the algorithm did stop the optimization run due to um, an excessive amount of iterations. But this is basically how gradient descent optimization is usually uh, implemented. And in R you can access uh, a solver that implements gradient descent by using this NLOPTR package. For this you will have to set up various functions and also um, vectors and lists. You can also find a link in the video description that will take you to this coding example on my blog. But basically what you will have to do is you will have to define a function that returns a list of the objective function and the gradient. So if you look at the objective function that was stated up here, if you derive the gradient it will be um, a vector of 2x1 and 2x2, so basic math. Uh, basic math, and um, this is uh, what I'm uh, defining here. You can see this function is taking a parameter. Um, the parameter is a vector. Then you also have to define a function like this for the inequality constraints. And in case that you have equality constraints, you will also have to do this for the equality constraints. In this case, I only have inequality constraints, so I will only have to do this for the inequality constraints. As you can see again, it's a function that returns um, a list with two entries. The first one represents the constraint, and the second one did, did there do, uh, did there two associated um, Jacobian matrix. I also have to set up a vector um, that represents my starting point. And in this case, I chose a a bad uh, starting point just to illustrate uh, the optimization run. Um, the problem here is, of course, very simple. You can already see from the the problem statement that the optimum has to be um, the point of origin. 
So I choose not to start at the point of origin here on purpose. You will also have to set up some lists that contain some settings for the solver itself. You can see, for example, here um, there's something with max val, uh, probably the, the, uh, the maximum number of iterations that are allowed. You can also see here I can define a tolerance. This is probably the a tolerance that is assessed by the solver um, uh, when considering the, the rate of improvement. Um, so when the rate of improvement goes beyond some threshold value, the optimization one will be uh, complete and, and the solution will be returned. You can adjust these um, values yourself uh, once you copy this coding example and you can also find more information on those um, when um, reading through the package documentation. For example, there's a documentation available in CRM. Once you set up these um, functions, lists, and vectors, you can access the NLOPTR function. It takes parameters. Um, those are basically the ones stated up here. You can see I have to provide a starting point. I have to provide a function that represents the objective function and the there to associated gradient. I also have to specify the lower and upper bounds of my optimization variables. In this case, they do not have um, lower and upper bounds, so I have to um, write null in that case. I can also um, provide the uh, inequality and equality constraints and the there to associated Jacobian matrices. Um, in this case, I do not have equality constraints, so I will just have to forward null in that case. And then uh, finally, I also have to provide a list with the settings for the solver itself. Once I've done so, I can um, solve the problem um, by executing this function. The function will return a solution object and I can print that solution object, which will um, display the results in the results section. You can see in this case, um, my solver conducted uh, more than 100 iterations. Um, it considered one inequality constraint. The optimal value it found is close to zero. Um, and the optimal solution to this problem is um, x1 equals to uh, very close to zero and, and x2 equals uh, very close to zero. This was uh, my basic introduction to NLOPTR and R. Um, you can um, access this code on my blog. As I um, explained earlier, I, I placed a link in the video description that will take you to this coding example. And you can also find more um, optimization, uh, more information on um, the parameter settings here in the package documentation. And um, then I would also recommend reading through the Wikipedia article to to fully understand uh, a gradient descent and how gradient descent is usually implemented in mathematical terms.